Plant Characteristics Test. Question 1. A pine tree is A. Non-vascular and a spore-producing plant. B. Vascular and a spore-producing plant. C. Vascular, seed-producing, and a cone-bearing plant. D. Vascular, seed-producing, and a flowering plant. Question 2. Non-vascular plants differ from vascular plants in A. How they make food. B. The kingdom of life they belong to. C. How they transport water and food. D. How they reproduce. Question 3. The leaves of an oak tree have all of the following functions except A. Transpiration B. Reproduction C. Photosynthesis D. Respiration Question 4. Roots have all of the following functions except to A. Anchor the plant B. Absorb water C. Make food D. Store food Question 5. What do ferns and mosses have in common? A. They are both vascular. B. They are both non-vascular. C. They both produce spores. D. They both produce seeds. Question 6. What is the main function of root hairs? A. To make more food. B. To increase the surface area so that more water and nutrients can be absorbed. C. To increase the strength of the support system of the plant. D. To absorb more oxygen. Question 7. Stems have all of these functions except A. Holding the leaves up toward the light. B. Absorbing soil nutrients. C. Supporting the plant. D. Storing food. Question 8. Structures for defense that plants have against predators include A. Thorns and poisons B. Xylem and phloem C. Long leaves and watery stems D. Roots and leaves Question 9. In the phloem of vascular plants, A. Water and nutrients travel down B. Water and nutrients travel up C. Food travels down. D. Food travels up. Question 10. One type of fungus lives on dead tree stumps by breaking down the dead tissue. This fungus can also spread to live trees. Predict what would happen if this fungus were to grow on a live tree. A. The fungus would grow on the live tree without harming the tree. B. The fungus would die because it can only live on dead tissue. C. The fungus would harm the live tree by causing the living tissue to decay. D. The fungus would help the live tree by removing any dead wood. Question 11. Some third graders took a field trip to the zoo. Each child was allowed to buy one thing from the snack stand. When they were at the monkey cage, one of the children decided to throw pieces of ice from his drink at one of the monkeys, hitting him several times. The monkey picked up a bowl of water and threw it on the child, getting him soaking wet. This story describes a stimulus and a response. What is the response in this situation? A. The third graders at the zoo on a field trip. B. The boy throwing ice at the monkey. C. The monkey throwing water on the child. D. The fact that each child was allowed to buy one thing at the snack stand. Question 12. In class, we place celery in different colored containers and observe the leaves after several days. In this experiment, what was the independent variable? A. The stalks of celery that came from the same but bunch. B. The color of the water. C. The color of the leaves after several days. D. The room temperature. Question 13. According to the table above, what is the scientific name of a yellow cedar? A. Plantae coniferophyta. 
B. Panopsida pinellis. C. Cameus separis nutcatensis. Or D. Cupracasi camisiparis. Question 14. Which plant response is occurring here? A. Thigmotropism. B. Phototropism. C. Gravitropism. D. Hydrotropism. Question 15. In a plant, the stomata can be found A. On top of the leaves. B. In the seeds. C. On the underside of leaves. D. In the roots. Question 16. No matter which way a corn seed is planted, it will grow roots down and stem up. This is an example of a. Gravitropism, B. Hydrotropism, C. Phototropism, D. Thigmotropism. Question 17. Most of the water in plants is lost through the A. Chloroplast, B. Roots, C. Stomata, D. Stems. Question 18. A Venus flytrap will close when the fly lands on it. What is this response in the plant called? A. Thigmotropism. B. Gravitropism. C. Dormancy. D. Phototropism. Question 19. Sunflowers track the sun during the day. This is an example of A. Gravitropism. B. Thigmotropism. C. Phototropism. D. Hydrotropism. Question 20. Blank are mainly responsible for controlling water loss, transpiration, in plants. A. Guard cells. B. Roots. C. Stems. D. Chloroplasts. Question 21. Roots growing into a creek or stream is an example of A. Phototropism. B. Gravitropism. C. Hydrotropism. D. Thigmotropism. Question 22. A house plant has been knocked over on its side. Which sketch best shows how it will look in one week? A. Sketch A. B. Sketch B. C. Sketch C. D. Sketch D. Short answer question 23. In the animal kingdom, we divide all animals into either vertebrates or invertebrates. What is the main characteristic that we use to divide plants in the plant kingdom? Use complete sentences, please. Short answer question 24. You notice dying flowers in the garden and spray the leaves with water. Why don't the plants come back to life? Use complete sentences, please. Question 25. In class, a stalk of celery was placed in colored water. After a few days, the leaves of the celery began to turn the color of the water. Explain why this occurred. Be sure to mention the specific type of vascular tubes involved in the plant. Use complete sentences, please. Question 26. Are the stomata normally open or closed at night? Explain. Question 26. Are the stomata normally open or closed at night? Explain how this benefits the plant. Question 